the role of commander in chief, the troops that fall under your command. Mm -hmm. Could you explain that? The well? commander in chief really is a ceremonial role. It does not give to the commander in chief any powers really over the armed forces. Now, there are a number of functions the armed forces carry out that require the official stamp of the commander-in-chief, so to speak. So, for example, when uh, they wish to dispatch forces uh, to help in a humanitarian activity abroad. But that is not something that the commander-in-chief can say, listen, forces, something is going on in this island, I think you should go. That is decided by the decision-making authorities. And then it comes to the commander-in-chief for what you may call a rubber stamp. So that there are functions that the commander-in-chief by legislation must carry out in respect, for example, of approving promotions of certain ranks or of giving approval to someone who wants to resign from the TTDF. But really it carries no power or authority in the institution. There are a number of activities of the Defense Force that they will invite the president to, and you are expected to turn up. This is not like an invitation to a concert. There are lots of courtesies that the TTDF extends to the president. Now, the CDS is really the official aide-de-camp of the president. But because he cannot be on site and do daily duties with the president as he has the TTDF to run, he nominates someone who carries out that duty day to day and who is stationed at the office of the president. But it is really the chief of defense staff who is the aide -car. So on any national occasion, you will see the CDS carrying out those duties if you look carefully. But most people don't even notice. You're learning something now? Yes. As a past member of the DDDF, well, there you go. There's always something to be learned. You had a very good relationship with the Defense Force. Oh, I did. I did. And maybe one different from presidents before, simply because I remained at my home. And therefore, the Defense Force had a presence at my home that they have maintained on a 24-7 basis for the last five years. So I perhaps had more of, a, if you may call it, relationship with the Defense Force because of that. Um, these officers were stationed very close to my house, so I very often overheard conversations that maybe I was not meant to hear. There was one that was of great hilarity to me when a member of the TTDF was getting married and he wished to have a picture taken with me on his wedding day. I said, but I am not the bride. We had to decline very politely. But it's that kind of relationship. You know, it was interesting to see the young men. There were very, very few women and only for very short periods of time. Mm -hmm. So generally, it was young men who did that duty at my home. And they were a very interesting batch.